Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Ponchezy here with a figure review for the highly anticipated SH Figure Arts Brawly figure. Let me tell you, this guy is massive. This guy is huge. When this guy was first announced, I was all like, eh, a little bit. Brawly is one of my favorite characters, but the figure I thought wasn't really doing him justice. I felt like he had too many, you know, moving parts and stuff. But once I got this behemoth figure in my hand, all other, you know, previous thoughts, all other expectations were thrown out the window. I got down to brass tacks and I thought to myself, oh my God, this thing is insane. And I love it so far. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna unbox this figure real quick and then I'm gonna go into a kind of in-depth review, basically everything you need to know about the figure, the ins and outs, and let's go ahead and start that up right now. So before we do anything, let's go ahead and take a quick tour around the box. First of all, you got Brawly right here, front and center. Good God, this guy looks awesome. Uh, on the side, you have some artwork of Brawly's face. On the other side, you have a uh, picture of the actual figure with the name. And right here on the back, you got a whole bunch of different poses he's in, the way he interacts with other figures. As you can see, two scale in the SH Figure Arts. He is huge. This picture actually doesn't do it any justice because of the angle it's taken. I'll go ahead and compare it to actual SH Figure Arts other toys in the line later on in the review, and you can see just how massive this figure is. And as always, SH Figure Arts always has to throw a little Comic Sans in the mix. Uh, I don't know what's, why they do that. <laughs> Maybe they just can't let that font go, but thankfully it's only happening once. They've started going with this uh, other font going on right here. If you want to go ahead and take a tour around the box, uh, there's not really much saying specifically to Brawly here. There's not really anything specifically about Brawly, just talking about the molding. Mastercrafted sculpt accurately depict Brawly's form and meticulous detail. So the here is really, Nothing is really actually talking about Brawly, it's just about the SH Figure Arts line, which is pretty cool. But, we have the tour around the box, actually if you want to see the front, here it is, here we go, more comic stands, why? And then at the bottom, we got this stuff right here, this is uh, the Japanese release, right here, I actually got it from eBay, uh, I honestly just couldn't wait. And when the, and when the, uh, when the US release hits, the basically, the only difference is going to be in the boxes, is going to be the language on the front. Some of the stuff is in Japanese and some of it is in English, but most of the stuff in the US release is obviously all going to be in English. The stuff right here and you know, all this text down here. So enough talk, let's go ahead and start unboxing this bad boy. All right. So all you do is really pop this guy off right here and you see the figure comes with two hands that go like that and two other hands that go like this. Comes with two interchangeable faces right here and three energy blasts. And lastly, as always, it comes with some literature that lets you know how to assemble the hands, how to assemble the head, and how to assemble the stand, which is a new one, and where to, you know, pose them and stuff like that with some other, you know, more information about the Kai Blasts and stuff. But all of it's in Japanese, so I can't read it, so it's kind of useless. But the pictures do depict how it goes. So that's pretty much it for the unboxing of the Brawly. There's not really much to go into, but I'm gonna go ahead and bring some other figures in here and I'm gonna start going over his articulation and you know, basically just what I think of the figure. All right, and here you have him. As you can see, <laughs> I can't stop saying it. He's freaking huge. Let's go ahead and go over some articulation real quick because I know that's what everybody really cares about. So his arms are actually on a really neat new articulation you know, joint I haven't seen in the SH Figure Arts line before. It has a swinging joint right here, but then also it has a regular ball joint right here in the middle. I don't know if you can see it. Let's go ahead and zoom in real quick. Yeah, as you can see, it's on two different joints here. You can get some nice motion on, you know, the shoulder socket right here, and then you've got a nice range of motion up and down. And when you go ahead and zoom out real quick, you can see that he has a nice, he can get his arm all the way up here for those high poses. You can get his arm, you know, down here for those low poses. It can go backwards like that very nicely, and it can go forward like this quite nicely. Uh, I was really worried that, you know, because, you know, his pecs are so huge to just jump off the rest of his body that you wouldn't be able to get his arms like this or anything, but with the inclusion of this new shoulder joint right here, you do get a nice range of motion. And of course, you got the same joint on the other side of the figure as well. Another thing I wanna talk about is his crunch. Now, none of the SH Figure Arts figures have a separate joint for the abs and the pecs. So he gets nice range of motion with the crunches. As you can see back here, let's go ahead and get this guy zoomed in. 
it cuts off right here and then it also cuts off right below his pecs and his abs and he gets a very nice range of motion for looking up like that and then he can go down like that it's really great it's useful it can be used for a whole number of poses and stuff and i really want to see more toys in this line utilizing this articulation now let's check out his elbows it's standard fare for sh figure arts it's got that double jointed elbow thing right here i really want to go ahead and talk about how i'm really like this particular bit of articulation because I think SH Figure Arts does this really, really well. You see kind of the same thing going on with Play Arts Kai, and those joints kind of look, eh, I don't really like the way those look at all, but I feel like when SH Figure Arts does it, like the way they mold the joint, it comes out looking really well, it comes out looking really natural, unlike this rectangle thing that a lot of Play Arts Kai figures are kind of plagued with. But his fist, has a nice bit of 360 articulation here, and you can go a little up, a little down with it uh, to make some really cool poses with his hands. Now, right here is abs. Let's go ahead, get that in the frame. Um, they're on a swinging peg, and it's actually a little ball joint. Let's go ahead and pop this guy off right here. As you can see, it's on a little ball, and it's got some nice articulation. This thing right here, actually his, uh, his belt or whatever you want to call it, is actually on this thing that gives it a little bit of leeway depending where you want to move them and stuff and I think that's really really cool but like I said this guy right here is on a nice little ball joint and it gives you a nice range of motion come on baby. okay and it gives you a nice range of motion now going more down on this figure let's go ahead and start talking about his uh, robe or whatever you want to call it his belt robe whatever you want to call it. um this individual part right here is, is on its own little hinge as you can see right here and gives you some nice motion and stuff like that these guys right here this whole thing this whole thing is essentially four parts this is one part sorry five one part second part third and fourth sorry it's four i can't count today anyway but these are on two joints right here you can see that let's go and get this guy in focus these are on two joints right here and they have a nice range of motion where you can put them all the way up if you want to get his knees up like this right there good range of motion right here and the back one doesn't really move at all it's actually just statically held to that i would have liked to see this you know been able to move so you can get him in some nice sitting poses even though brawley's not the kind of guy who likes you know to sit down but it would have been nice maybe some things to think of when they're you know making some bigger figures like that napa that we were teased like what four years ago maybe three years ago that we never ever got but with the success of this brawly hopefully they start bringing out some larger enemies so down here we're looking at the leg he's on a nice little ball joint right here on his leg yeah i get them. yeah you guys can see that we got a uh, nice little swivel Standard fare for SH Figure Arts, it's got one right here and then one connecting right here so you can make his leg go a little bit up, make his leg go a little bit down to, you know, get better range of motion when he's uh, bending his legs and stuff like that. His knee also is on, you know, your standard SH Figure Arts uh, double joint like this, working a lot like the shoulder, or working a lot like the elbow, it works really, really well. And last but not least, his feet are on standard swivel you got, you can get a nice range of motion. Oh, pop right off all right it's back on so it's got a toe joint and it's got a nice um heel joint i guess if that's what you want to call it god it's really hard to keep this guy in focus anyway but that's pretty much it there is one other thing i want to talk about and that's his head now brawley obviously is a huge dude and his head joint is pretty interesting let me go ahead and see if i can get a good get a good shot for you guys Let's see. Okay, right back here. So, if you look back here, his head is actually on two double joints, which is really, really interesting. So you can get nice range of motion of him. Like, uh, obviously, it looks goofy as shit when he's like this or he's like that. But if, whoops, <laughs> his head just fell up. Hey, y'all remember that video uh, of that Mrs. Incredible at Disney World where she's walking and then she slams on the ground and then her head falls off? Uh, that reminded me of that. A little bit of tit, a little. Uh, little humor for you guys in this uh, video anyway but um 
It may seem like a weird thing to include, but I do foresee myself using this if I want to get a nice range of motion for maybe shots to have them looking like this and stuff like that, you know, maybe like that. Stuff that really wouldn't be possible on a single joint. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and get some other SH figure arts in here and see how they actually stack up to this figure. All right, and there you have it. Like I keep on saying in this review, this Brawly is enormous. He's huge. Unbelievable. Goku is already a pretty tall SH figure arts next to Vegeta and finally Gohan. He is just towering over everybody. Like I said earlier in that picture on the back of the box, it doesn't really do the figure justice in terms of scale because of the angle the picture was taken at. I always thought when looking at these promo images that he wasn't going to be that tall. You know, he wasn't really that much to scale. But as you can see, compared to this Goku, this Gohan, and this Vegeta, he is unbelievably tall. Like, I can't even believe it. But that's pretty much it when it comes to this figure. I'm really, really happy with the way this figure turned out. I literally can't wait for everybody else to finally get their hands on him. He's probably one of the most anticipated SH figure arts to come out in this line. And hopefully you guys get to enjoy him as much as I'm enjoying him right now early next year. You guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything else you like to see, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. If you guys are interested in figure photography or figures in general, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. That's where I'm the most active when it comes to figures, video games, Dragon Ball Z, and all that. My Instagram tag is Ponchisi, just like my YouTube tag and basically anything else on the internet. But until next time, guys, have a good one, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.